Welcome back to the channel and this video it's a big one, a little important for me as well at the end of an era because it's the last video I'm going to be making in the States before I do move back to the UK. For that reason, going to be going big. 17 games for you all are covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. And nothing for you should change really watching. However, I will be missing videos next week so no Thursday or Saturday deals. And I don't believe I've actually missed a Saturday deals video in three years so this feels incredibly weird but I simply have no setup to create and edit. I do, however, want to celebrate the change. You know, this is a good thing. And I also want to thank you all then in the process for the support over the years. So later in this video, we have the usual two $10 eShop gift card winners to announce. But when I do return for my next deals video in two weeks, I'm going to be giving away two $50 eShop gift cards instead. So get your comments down below to enter for your chance to win. On top of that, I also then have a code for Kingdom Come Deliverance to give away as well. The winner will be announced in that same video. But if you do want a chance to win that game code, put the word Kingdom in your comments. That will still enter you for the gift cards as well. But I want to make sure this one goes to a good home. All right, so blabbing over, let's start big. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbo Charge. This one is 50% off and new at low price. And like the first game, I think they got so much right here. And clearly they had a great foundation to start with. But this one expands the lineup. It adds new tracks. I think they built up the world better. The track creator is improved. I also love the fact there you can jump online, check out other tracks. And yeah, I thought it was just interesting that they added an actual story mode that surprisingly isn't bad. Definitely a fan of this one, definitely think it's worth checking out. Rainworld then is currently available with a 55% discount. Now it has been slightly cheaper in the past, but I love this game and it's had a really unusual pricing history as well. They actually increased the base game's price. This title though doesn't go on sale too often and I will add it is a game that definitely defies its audience, so I do recommend Watch a few reviews before you do commit to diving in. I'm personally in the camp that really enjoys it, but I will warn it can be incredibly difficult. Now, the idea here is you play as a creature known as a slug cat in a dangerous world where virtually everything can be lethal. You must navigate through multiple locations seeking food and shelter while everything on screen poses a threat. The movement in the game feels fantastic and it even incorporates some elements from the metroidvania genre. I think it's definitely worth a look and the time investments. Not tonight and not tonight to have a bundle on sale and interestingly buying the bundle is cheaper than purchasing the second game standalone. Now this sequel is a new release and the series overall it borrows heavily from Papers Please. That is always going to be a good starting point. What you've essentially got here there were two games that are politically charged not shying away from their opinions and in these games you take on the role of a bouncer blending RPG like decision making with management gameplay so basically you will manage the door at various venues deciding who gets in while juggling your own bills. The second game you're actually on this sort of, I guess, road trip. It sounds straightforward, but it's actually challenging and definitely unique. And yeah, the first game set in the UK following Brexit, while the second shifts the setting to the States. I'm currently playing through that second game myself, but personally, gonna say I do prefer the first game, probably resonates with me a little bit better. But yeah, this bundle, a new low price, 65% off. Haiku the Robot is an indie gem and a metroidvania with a stunning visual style that's going to remind many of the Game Boy era and that's thanks to its unique colour scheme. It's currently 45% off and matching its lowest price and in this game you're going to navigate a world of corrupted robots that you must overcome. The gameplay features solid platforming, some fun enemies and some incredible boss encounters. Then while the game describes itself as cute and that main character certainly is, it still packs some seriously challenging sequences. Throughout your journey though expect to unlock various power-ups and abilities that will help you along the way and yeah with this one there's a ton of potential in this world and hopefully we're going to see more of it explored in the future. Blue Fire is available at a new low price with 75% off, it's definitely worth it. Many have likened it to a 3D Hollow Knight, which is definitely an apt comparison. The gameplay though features solid combat and exploration, but personally my favourite aspect is the platforming challenges that really ramp up that difficulty. The visuals are also stunning, the gameplay is smooth, and the soundtrack here is a winner. Since its release then the game has received a free DLC expansion that adds further platforming challenges. But yeah, I haven't actually played these expansions myself transparently, but from what I experienced of the base game, the most enjoyable part has just been watching my arsenal and abilities grow, and if it promises more of that, it's definitely going to be worth checking out. Yeah, overall, I think this one is well worth a look. 
Dreamscaper is a hidden gem of a game that, in my opinion, deserved far more attention. It's a roguelike that oscillates between two phases, awake and dreaming. It's action heavy, with combat that is nice and satisfying. The balance basically here, though, between the two phases is really what makes it stand out. The awake phase allows you to, you know, walk around the town, it pushes the story forward, it sets the stage for what's to come in those nightmare dream states, and here you're going to encounter a variety of upgrades, items, boss battles, and powers that you can manipulate not just in combat, but in the environment as well. Now then, it's a new low price, 75% up, and this one is well worth it. Incognito is our first winner of the week who highlighted Nocturnal. Congrats on the win, email me for the code and everyone else. There is a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. With me flying to England this week then, there's going to be a few nights of hotels in there, a long old plane flight, and a fair bit of driving too, so I had to pick up a few extra games for myself. So this week, actually grabbed three titles, but as always, these are not recommendations. Maybe, rather, you'll want to join me for that raid. So first up, I've grabbed Stasis Bone Totem. This is still on launch discount, it's 20% off. I have high hopes for this. I believe it's a horror pint and click experience, but we're following the journey of Mac and Charlie who discover an underwater facility. It is promising a whole lot of dialogue and puzzles to overcome. Then I grabbed Die Again, another new release. This is a top-down shooter that has that hotline in Miami look, but it's unique in the fact if you do die, you can transfer to other characters' bodies as long as they are within the circle on the screen. I've seen zero coverage for this, so I'm going to be covering it in a week or so when I'm back up and running. But yeah, also transparently, no discount on this one, but I still wanted to shout it out as it was only 12 bucks. Finally, I'm grabbing Nine Years of Shadows, which I'm hearing mixed opinions on, but I love the look of it. It's a Metroidvania, it's on the shorter side, it seems around six hours, but that is the perfect length for all of the stopping and starting I will be doing. 30% off then with this one matches the new low price. Monomals then is a hidden gem that flew under the radar for many, but this game it is fantastic. The premise revolves around a DJ contest amongst animals, where your goal is to capture musical fish to craft your beats. This sets the stage for what unfolds as an adventure platformer. Basically, you'll be navigating through underwater courses and mazes, solving environmental puzzles as you do go. Adding to its charm then, there's a musical creation tool that's actually quite comprehensive, and you can even share your music online and have it rated, although I must warn here, the activity level of the online community might be non-existent as it is often the case with non-first party Switch titles. Then it's currently available, a new low price, 80% off, making it a great time to check out this unique release. The Legend of Nayuta Boundless Trails is here with 30% off and matching the low price. Really enjoyed this action RPG, which originally released on the PSP, but is now making its debut in the West. It stands out as quite different from other entries in the series, featuring fast-paced and rewarding combat, albeit a bit more you know, simplistic than what you might expect. The cast and the scale of the adventure then are smaller compared to recent series entries, but I still thought this was an absolute blast. The main premise involves traveling through a series of islands to stop evil forces, and yeah, it's just a good fun game that's easy to pick up even without prior knowledge of the series. Bendy and the Ink Machine released in 2018. It has only seen one discount since then. That was actually recently, maybe a few weeks back, but it's gone even further now with an impressive 80% off marking a new low price. Now, just the heads up with this one it is a horror game, so it might not be for everyone. And there's actually also a follow-up on Steam, which I'm hopeful will eventually make its way to the Switch. Now, the game overall, it's a first-person adventure packed with puzzles, and you'll be playing as Henry, who revisits the demons of his past by returning to an old animation studio. The less you know with this one, going in, the better, as the surprises definitely, you know, elevate that experience. Overall, I found it to be stylistically unique, though, and definitely creepy. The Long Dark is my personal favourite survival game on the Switch. It thrusts you into a snowy landscape following a plane crash, offering several modes, an ongoing story, set challenges, or even a pure survival mode. The world though, incredible and terrifying, making for this truly immersive experience. Currently then, it's available with a 50% discount, which yes, we've seen cheaper. Definitely been a while though since we've seen a lower price, and I do consider this more than fair for a game where you could easily sink hundreds of hours. Darkest Dungeon Ancestral Edition is back on sale, and while we've seen it slightly cheaper in the past, I believe it's worth every single penny, even at full price. Now, currently, it's available at 66% off. I recommend this edition over just the base game because it's a $5 difference, and you get three additional content packs. That's the Crimson Court, the Shield Breaker, and the Color Madness. 
These expansions add new heroes, a new location, and a parallel campaign that runs alongside that main game, introducing new enemies. The gameplay then, it's a roguelike turn-based RPG that is incredibly challenging, but equally rewarding. Overall, expect here to be setting up squads, tackling enemies, and dealing with afflictions that do impact your team. Really dark stuff as well. But yeah, overall, fantastic gothic adventure. Sword of the Fagrant is a game I truly loved, and now it's available at a new low price at 60% off. Now this 2D action RPG, it's set in a mythical world where you delve into dark family secrets and you're working to mend these broken bonds. The journey though will take you from scenic coastal spots to eerie ghostly castles, where you'll encounter over 70 types of monsters in some seriously intense combat that includes combo chains, special moves, and of course epic boss battles. I particularly appreciated the crafting system and the multiple endings that adds a ton of replayability. And then for those concerned about the challenge, because yes, it's not an easy game, there are four difficulty settings to choose from, catering to a range of skill levels. Our second winner then is Kay Kant, who highlighted Tormented Souls and Astroneer. Congrats on the win, email me for the code and everyone else, do remember to drop a comment down below. For your chance to win, not only a copy of Kingdom Come Deliverance, but also one of two $50 eShop gift cards in that next video when I am back up and running. The Blasphemous and Blasphemous 2 collection is our final game of the video, and a note on pricing above, this collection is not available in the UK, EU and Australia, but there you can pick up just the second game with a new low price. Now these here are two fantastic gothic metroidvanias following the story of the Penitent One. It is a series defined by its over-the-top gore, solid combat system, and stunning pixel style. The second game then, in my opinion, did a lot of things right, improved the platforming, the weapon selection is healthier, and the world bigger. However though, there is one misstep, and that is, it changed the cutscenes from these beautiful pixel works to an anime style, and it's just a little jarring. That said though, they still are impressive, I just miss that kind of original vibe. For me though, overall, don't miss these if you want a challenge, it's 40% off a new low price. And that is the end of the video. Thanks once again to everyone for the support over the years. I will be back with you all in around 10 or so days, I'd say, and I do plan to be back to daily content. Now, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Helps up the channel a huge amount. And then finally, a massive thank you to the patrons and the channel members who go above and beyond to support Switch Corner. That helps more than you know, especially in times like these with such a massive move. All right, thanks everyone. I'll see you soon.